Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Hey, look! It's Latifa and her friends. And what are they doing? They're painting rocks for a neighborhood garden. Cool! That looks like so much fun. And look at all the beautiful colors they have to choose from. Red, green, purple, pink, blue, gold, silver, orange, and yellow. Latifa chose red and gold for some of her rocks. And she's painting one side red and the other side gold. Now I know her favorite color is red. And so I see she's placed all her rocks with the red side up. But I wonder, how many rocks has Latifa painted? Well, let's count together. One, two, three, four. Latifa has painted four rocks. Wow, that gold side sure is shiny. What if we flipped over one of the rocks to look at the gold side? Wow, shiny. Now you can see three red rocks and one gold rock. Well, now that we flipped one over, I wonder how many rocks Latifa has in total. We can add three and one together, or we can count to find the total. One, two, three, four. Four rocks still. That's because three and one make four. Hey, I wonder if there are even more ways to make four. Well, let's find out. What if we flip over another rock? Oh, shiny. Now we have two red rocks and two gold rocks. But are there still four rocks? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four. Yes, there are four. So, two and two make four. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We could flip over another rock to show the shiny gold side. So shiny. Now we have one red rock and three gold rocks. And so we still have four rocks in all. And that means one and three makes four. Now there's one more way you can make four. Can you guess what it is? But well, what if we flip over the last rock? Shiny! That leaves us with zero red rocks and four gold rocks. Zero and four make four. Amazing! These four painted rocks showed us all the different ways that we can make four. While we were counting to four, it looks like Latifa went on painting. She's now painted seven rocks. And she used blue and silver for them. I wonder what are all the different ways we can make seven? What do you say we use our ten frame to help? Now we're only making seven, so we won't need all these spaces. We only need one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Okay, now let's put some rocks in there. Here are the seven rocks. And look, they're all on the blue side. Hey, why don't we write number sentences showing all the ways we can make seven as well? Now let's start with seven equal. Hmm, what does seven equal? Well, if we have seven blue rocks and zero silver rocks, it looks like seven equals seven plus zero. Great. Hmm, how else can we make seven? Well, let's flip a rock and find out. How many blue rocks do we have now? We can see five in the top row of the 10 frame, and one more is six, five, six. So there are six blue rocks and one silver rock. Now, let's write a number sentence like this. Seven equals six plus one. Should we flip over another rock? Oh, I'm glad you asked. After all, we have to discover more ways to make seven. Now, we still have five blue rocks. Well, that's easy to see since it's in a 10 frame. And now we have two silver rocks. So seven equals five plus two. Huh, how else can we make seven? Can you think of a way? What if we try four blue rocks? And that means that we have three silver rocks. And we can write that as seven equals four plus three. Good job. Now let's see what it looks like if we keep on flipping these rocks. So this shows three plus four equals seven. And then next is two plus five equals seven. 
Then after that is one plus six equals seven. And last but not least, that's right, zero plus seven equals seven, since there were no blue rocks left, only the silver ones. Wow, great job. We found all the mighty ways to make seven. And you wrote a number sentence for each one. What's Chen up to? Looks like he's going to the store to get some special flowers for the garden. Wow, this shelf here has blue flowers and yellow flowers. So pretty. Chen has enough money to get five flowers. Well, how many different ways can he choose blue flowers and yellow flower combinations and still have five in total? Well, another way to think about it, the question is asking, what are all the different ways to make five? Well, Chen could just get all blue flowers, and that would mean he got five blue flowers and zero yellow flowers. And what would that addition look like if we wrote it as a number sentence? Five equals five plus zero. But what if Chen wanted to get all yellow flowers? Well, that would mean he got zero blue flowers and five yellow flowers. And so that would be the opposite. Five equals zero plus five. Huh. What are some other ways to make five? One plus four also makes five. And that would mean Chen gets one blue flower and four yellow flowers. <gasps> or we could do the opposite and Chen could get four blue flowers and one yellow flower. Because four plus one also equals five. Neat. So far we've found four different ways to make five. Oh, but I bet there's more. Two blue flowers and three yellow flowers also makes five because five equals two plus three. And we could always do the opposite again. Three blue flowers and two yellow flowers also make five. Five equals three plus two. Ha! Amazing! We found all the ways to make five. And now, Chen knows all the different ways he can pick out five flowers. I wonder what combination he'll choose. Well done, you mighty brilliant minds. You know, you can try drawing your own 10 frame and using counters or coins or even painted rocks to make different numbers. How many ways can you make the number eight, for example? And how about the number nine? Try it with your favorite number. As for me, I'm going to paint 100 rocks because 100 is my favorite number. And I'm going to paint both sides gold. Shiny. It might take me a while, so see you soon.